Hello, hello everyone. My name is Ruben Cespedes and welcome to your pro tips. I'm super excited to be here. Welcome everyone on the chat. I hope everyone is having an amazing week so far. Remember that we are live every single day on Behance and YouTube with more tutorials and pro tips like this one. All right, today we have something super exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to uh, Adobe Firefly. So today we're gonna be compositing some cool text effects using the powerful Fire, uh, Firefly. And then we're gonna be moving to Photoshop beta to create some cool backgrounds and also use the power of generative feel and generative expand. So I hope you are having an amazing day. Again, let's see who's on the chat right now. All righty, we have Wade, we have Paul. Hello guys. All right, so let's get started right away. So we in Firefly, we have so many different options. We have text, you know, to image, we have gener generative fill, which we're gonna be using in Photoshop beta later on. We have some text effects, which this is the one that we're gonna be tackling today. And we do have some generative recolor and we have some other stuff working in the background. But let's go ahead and go into text effect so we can start generating some cool stuff. What I love about Firefly and, and this particular text effect is that we already have some cool effects um, already for us. So we can pick uh, whatever we want in here and then start typing uh, whatever, you know, words or phrases or whatever you wanted to, you know, to design, but I'm thinking about doing something like with space or something like that. So if we, if we think about space, we think about rocky, you know, rock or, you know, with, we can think about some cool, you know, like the expanse of the universe, intricate, vibrant colors. Uh, we can talk about galaxies and stuff like that, which is awesome. Um, but, um, I'm feeling more like creating some rock effect for what we're going to be creating today. I'm going to be actually doing a really cool like movie poster type of thing, uh, but you can create whatever you want um, in here in Firefly and also in Photoshop beta. All right. So I took a look at some of these cool designs for the text. I really, I'm really digging some of these, but what if we wanted to create something different? Like I haven't seen any rock, uh, rocky texture, text effect in here. So I'm looking for something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead in the description here, just gonna type like rock and just click on generate. And then Firefly is gonna, you know, use his magic and it's gonna now like create some really cool you know, rocky text effect. And we can definitely see some of these options down here. So let's, let's check the second one. All right, I really like this one a lot because there's some pieces going off of the lettering. And if you want to change this, what we're going to do is just like type in here where it says Firefly and since we're going to be doing some space stuff, uh, let's call it space, ooh, space it like all together. doesn't matter. This is like for the title or of our movie poster space it, uh, which is pretty cool. All right. Um, really kind of like this one, but let me see, let's see other options that we have. Uh, give it a little time so they, they can, you know, kind of like render those uh, really cool effects in the background. Also, if you wanted to change some of the fonts because you want something, you know, more narrow or super like thick, uh, we can go ahead and click on those popular uh, fonts and just like take a look at this. We're going to just let it render, uh, which is awesome. And there you go. Ooh, I really like that. That's I'm digging that. Uh, but let's see, let's see the first one just for the sake of, you know, playing around. All right. I kind of like this one better or even this one. Let's just try this one. And the power of, of, you know, AI, it's amazing. And I love how 
you know, Adobe has integrated, you know, Firefly into uh, Photoshop, Adobe Express, and even Illustrator, which is pretty cool. I really love uh, this right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and just like download this one. And you can go ahead and check other fonts if you want by clicking the view all and then choosing the, the font that you kind of like like the most. Um, another thing is that you can have different background colors like for, you know, for your text effect. For example, you can put it on black. You can put it on different colors, uh, which is pretty awesome. Then what I what I want to do is to actually get it with a transparent background. So make sure you you hit uh, transparent background. And then once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and hover over and just click the middle icon here to download. You're going to click it. And then it's going to you know, provide you some information about committing trans transparency for um, Adobe is, you know, committed to promoting transparency around content generated by AI tools. Click don't show this again and continue. And then it's going to download, which is awesome. So I'm going to just relocate this on my computer. There you go. I have it and I can use this. Perfect. All right. I'm going to put it on the side right here. Give me one second. I'm just going to go ahead and find it on my folder. I have it right here. All right. So for the sake of this, let's go ahead and create another one, which is pretty fun. So we're going to go back again if we want to, but or we can just like go down here and think about other um, description that you want to make your tax effect. For example, if we're talking about space, you know, all of that vibrant vibrancy colors and stuff. Um, let's just create something cool around that. So let's just type in galaxy and just click generate. And let's see the power of Adobe Firefly will do for us, which is awesome. Oh, there you go. having some sip of water. Oh, I'm really digging this. This is really nice. Let's click on this second one just to see other options that you have. Oh, let's see. That's kind of cool too. I love the, those particles um, right there. And let's see the first one. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. That is really awesome. So I really like this one. So I'm going to just download it. Make sure you select the font that you want. You select the shape that you want and also the color. If you want a color behind it, kind of like this one or blue, just like click on those colors. Or if you want transparency, just click on the first one. And then once you're happy with it, just go in the middle of this uh, icons here and just click download. Perfect. So now I have my two really cool, you know, title for my movie that we were creating today. All right. So now we're going to go into Photoshop beta. So I'm going to just click here and I'm going to start creating something. So command N on your on your Mac, control N on your PC. And then I'm going to go ahead and do 500 by 500. Something like that. And then we're going to name this. Oh, no. Space it. <laughs> Space it. That's the name of my movie, by the way. We're going to click create. Uh, let's just bump up this resolution to 100 just for the sake. All right. So we have. We have a 500 by 500 uh, square. And what we're going to do is just select everything. So we're going to press command A and your Mac, control A in your PC. And then this is the power of AI of uh, generative fill inside Photoshop beta. So we're going to click on generate fill. And then we're going to type a description here. Since we're going to be talk, you know, we're going to be designing a, around space. Let's create something 
you know, intricate. Um, so let's let's do something like Bast, you know, expands, spends space uh, with I would say with intricate intricate uh, colors or vibrant colors colors and then you're going to click on generate let's see what the power of gen generative field does in adobe beta all right so let's wait for oh there you go so let's zoom in a little bit we have our first option and then you can toggle between um, these options here or you can toggle in here in the right panel. So we're going to go ahead and click. All right. I kind of like kind of like that, but I need some like some planets or something around it. So we're going to click again and let's do space space with multiple planets. And then we're going to click generate just to see what that does. We're going to let the power of generative field to do some cool stuff in the background. Mm, I kind of like that, but not quite there yet. So I'm going to, we're going to keep experiment. We're going to keep experimenting. Oh, let's just type in galaxy just to see what it does. Click generate and and then uh, we'll see. Uh, what I love about the generative field and expand is that oh there you go. Dig in something here. Perfect. All right, in galaxy. Um, kind of like that, but let's do galaxy with a few planets in the background in the background and then click generate what i love about uh, generative field is that you can type in whatever you want and the program will try to, to interpret it as best uh as it can uh, which is awesome oh, i really kind of like this one so i think i'm going to stick with that one but this is what we're going to do now. We're going to be using the power of uh, generative expand. And what this does, you'll see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit by pressing command minus, and then I'm going to press C. And then I'm going to go ahead and press option on my Mac, alt on your PC, just to expand it like vertically, kind of like a movie poster. We're just going to eyeball it for now. And then also we're going to expand it like horizontally. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Press option on your Mac, alt on your PC, and just like make it a little bit wider. And then once you are happy with your kind of like your cropping, then just click on generate and you'll see the magic now. All right, let's see some people on the chat. Uh, they're commenting. Good morning, everyone. Los Angeles in the house, which is awesome. All right, so we got three different ones. Okay. Kind of digging it, but not that much. So I'm going to go back again. I'm going to press Command Z and let's just generate something different. I want to generate something totally different here. Of course, it's going to be the galaxy, but we're going to do space, uh, space with intricate, intricate color, intricate colors. And then let's click generate. I wasn't very fond of the outcome of, of the last one. All right, so we have some crazy going on here. Maybe we have to remove those intricate colors. Okay, let's just call it space. 
I'm going to do abstract and click generate. I really like to, to experiment and that's what I recommend. Um, experiment with different things until you're, you're kind of like your heart content. Um, it's very satisfying, like creating this type of work, um, text to image, which is awesome uh, within the power of Photoshop. So again, let's just, uh, let's see, space. space galaxy I'm looking for something in particular um kind of like kind of like a dark Ooh, there you go now we're talking perfect this is this is the one all right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to just go ahead and zoom out and then press c to expand it so again, and then we're going to go press Alt on your Mac or Alt on your PC, op Option on your Mac. And then we're going to eyeball it like around there maybe. And then we're going to do the same horizontally. So press Option on your Mac, Alt on your PC, and we're going to go probably around there. And then just click, don't put anything in here. Um, this is um, Generative Expand. So you just click on Generate and it's going to do it for you, which is awesome. All right. Let's see. Perfect. All right. Just getting back to me. And then let's see, we have three options. Let's see which one is the one that we like the most. Maybe this one. I'm digging this one. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And let's bring, remember, that type effect we did in Adobe Firefly. We're going to bring it now in here. So let's go ahead and bring that over. I'm going to bring the Rocky version first. And then see how that looks. All right. So we have our text here. Let's see one second. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. Then what I'm going to do is just like create a mask and just I'm just going to remove this stem from Firefly here. So I created a mask, then press B for your brush. They make it smaller so you can actually see it. One second, uh, making it smaller. Make sure the foreground is black and then start painting. So that way you kind of like remove it. All right, so I have it, make it left bracket to make it smaller. And there you have it. Okay, I think I got that one, oh, which is pretty really awesome. Let's see. So we got space it. That's the title of my movie. So, all right. So we're going to zoom back and we're going to create some kind of like gradient. So that way we can help that space it to you know stand out a little more. So we're going to create a new layer by pressing command shift N, control shift N on your PC. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to name this gradient. Then make sure your layer it's underneath the title, so that way uh, you know it's you know underneath it. Um, then what we're gonna do is just press the gradient tool, go in here, and just pr press uh, on basic. All right, and then make sure you press D. That way you have your fore foreground in black, and then start painting from bottom to top. So I'm going to go ahead and press kind of like the shift. So that way it's more like it's perfect. So right there, I think I'm happy with that. Let's see the before and after. That is pretty cool. Okay. Then what I can do is bring this title down a little bit. Okay. And then maybe I wanted to create some 
you know, some cool effect here for space it. I just command and click on the actual title. And then I'm going to remove this selection here. So press, you know, pick your selection tool, polygonal tool or lasso tool, and then just press option or alt and just like remove that selection because we're going to do some adjustment layers for just the space it. So we're going to go ahead and go down here into your, your adjustment layers. And then, whoops, this one, adjustment layers. And then we're going to do, we can do some curves. We can do some levels, but we're going to do some curves for now. And then you're going to start playing with this here. So that way you can create some more contrast, you know, a little bit of contrast, something like about there. That's really nice. Then what I'm going to do is actually command click on that selection. And then what I'm going to do is actually copy from here and paste it on the top. So this is what I'm going to, what I'm going to do. I'm going to press command shift C and then command B to paste. I'm going to put it on the top. And then what I like to do is just go into filter and then other and then high pass. And then we're going to play with some of the high pass right here. Let's see. Just to give it a, a little more depth or kind of like cool effect. Then once you're happy with it, then go into your blending modes. And then you're going to go into kind of like overlay or soft. Kind of like the soft. So you can see the before and after. Before after it's a little subtle but it's there uh which is awesome so i think i'm really happy with this so i'm gonna go ahead and, and just like grab all of this just put it into a folder this is kind of like my title and then from here down it's gonna be kind of like my bg and I'm going to include that gradient into the BG folder. So that way I'm more. And then finally, to make it look like our actual, you know, movie poster, we're going to go ahead and, and bring kind of like those credit that the movie have, movie poster have, just like place it down here. I'm going to go ahead and just like make it super smaller. Make sure you do it it proportionally and then center this zoom back and then make sure you your blending modes and this is just a trick that I like to do all the time is to go into the blending modes and then go into screen and what this does is hides whatever if the background is dark is going to hide it which is awesome and then finally, I think what I would like to do is probably bring like a lens flare or something. So I'm going to go ahead and use this selection tool. I'm going to create a new, I'm going to create a new layer, command shift N and then call it flare. I'm going to fill it with black. Awesome. Don't worry. And then we, with the layer selected, we're going to go ahead and go to filter render and then click on lens flare. And then we're going to move it like from here and then press OK. Then once you're happy with it, go ahead and go into screen. Control T to move it around a little bit just so that way maybe we can do something like that. Something like this, kind of like that. And voila. <laughs> I really kind of like this. You can see a little bit of, you know, the background because it's not super dark. So what I'm going to do is just actually in the layer selected, what I'm going to do is just press command L and then just bring those levels like just those levels down a little more. And that's it.
This is how cool it looks. We created this using the power of Adobe Firefly and also using the power of Photoshop and using AI to create this generative field, generative expand, which is pretty cool. And I really, really like it. I hope you guys like it as well. Let's see. Hello, everyone on the chat again. Thank you so much for joining us today. We did a pretty cool uh, pro tip for using the power of Firefly and also the power of Photoshop beta using generative field and also using generative expand. All righty. So thank you so much, everyone. I really enjoyed uh, today's, you know, uh, pro tips. And don't forget to join our community so, for, so you can post your work there. We have amazing mentors there that can definitely help you level up your design skills. Later.